Hey, what's up, guys? Today I'm gonna show you how to model this parametric wooden arc. It's so easy and simple. Before we start, please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already, and don't forget to like, comment, and share the video with your friends. So let's jump in. This is our base. I want to create that uh, um, parametric wooden arc right here. So at first, draw a rectangle here, like this, and by using arc tools, draw an arc here, like this, then erase this line and select all and make it a group. Let me go to this group. Then take an offset from this one by um, 40 centimeter. Then by using move tools, move this edge up to here, like this. Now let me draw a guideline from the midpoint here up to here, like this. Then by using arc tool, draw an arc here, like this, and select this curve. And by using fillip tools, take a copy from this one. Move it up to here, like this, press control to take a copy. So, now erase this line and this curve because we don't need them anymore like this and let me extrude it by 50 centimeter like this and now by using bevel plugin let me flat the edges click on this option and then like this and now let me add 10 like this and you can find this plugin in our website I have shared its link in description 10 enter like this it's so easy and simple let me select all and make it group again and by using soften edge hide additional lines here. So now let's use a slicer 5 to cut this shape into layers. First click on this option. Then as you can see in here we have a window. First option is uh, axis. In here you can choose that axis you want to slice your shape. For example in this shape I want to use um, axis Z. And also in here, you can determine a spacing between them. And also uh, thickness, you can determine thickness. Click on OK. And now let me put a color. Like this. And also, let me draw some pipe for connecting them together. Clamp here. Like this. Let me make it component. Take a copy from this one, have to here and select all and take a copy here too. Now let me select one of them and extrude it. Extrude it out to here.
and to hear. And once again. And now let me take a copy. Let me move it here. Press Ctrl to take a copy. Type for X like this. It's so easy and simple. So guys, as you can see, our work is done. I hope this tutorial was useful and helpful for you. For more tutorial, please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to like, comment, and share the video with your friends.